Being proud is something that I've always struggled with. It's been an uphill battle, one that I faced recently. I once was proud of each and every single one of my accomplishments. From going horseback riding for the first time to getting my belly button pierced, I was proud. Transferring to Sam Houston State University changed that feeling. From being the only black woman in classes where no one looks like me, experiencing those microaggressions we all know too well, coming from low economic standards compared to the rest of my classmates, I felt like there was less and less for me to be proud of. So recently, I took the time to think about what I'm proud of. I look back at my history. My great-grandparents, Mama Caroline and Johnny Pop, were black landowners in Tyler, Texas, in a time where it was unheard of. According to the Atlantic, white landowners outnumbered black landowners in the 1940s, three to one. This disparity was due to land grants. They purchased their land, and they worked hard to keep it. Almost every person in my family has worked that land. Even my grandma used to pick peas, sweet onions, watermelons. If that wasn't enough, they'd travel to East Texas and pick cotton to earn extra money. Hearing their sacrifices has made me proud. They cherished that land and fought hard to keep it in every season, rain or shine. Hearing the stories of my Mama Caroline's famous fried chicken or Johnny Pop's humor made me proud, even though I never got the chance to meet them. My dad and his five siblings each worked that land together. My dad. My dad would tell my brother and I stories of how they would chase chickens, or how if they were picking watermelon, he'd drop one, so it'd be okay to eat it. My dad, my dad who's bold, daring, tough, and most of all, proud to tell us these stories. My dad, the truck driver, or, if you ask him, lo the logistical entrepreneur. My dad. He often told my brother and I to pull our shoulders back and hold our heads up high, to be proud of ourselves, no matter what. My dad. The stories of our family's history were so impactful to us. We were often told these stories when we were down to remind us that we had everything to be proud of. Years later, my family had decided to sell that land. I'll be honest, it was a bittersweet moment. But keeping that family together was more important than keeping the land. The sacrifices my family makes are what hold us together because they remind us of how far we've come. My dad's sacrifice of traveling on the road exemplifies the choices that we make to keep our family together. Even though he had a busy schedule, you still felt his presence. His stories reminded us of our history they reminded us to keep going. They were the glue that held our family together. The stories of my family and my father are what make me proud to be here today.
We are more than what the world has made us experience. We are more than just that. We are moments of happiness, of care, and of empathy. We are more than the hard times and those bittersweet experiences. We are light, and that is something to be proud of. We are all the small, incremental moments that we achieve. Just because a goal isn't monumental doesn't mean that we can't cherish it. A friend of mine always says, we are living black history. And that's something to be proud of. That's something I'm proud of. Coming to Sam Houston State University, I felt out of place. Coming to classes, where no one looks like me. I felt different. I lived in second guessing and self-doubt until I remembered the words my father had told me. Knowing the things we hold special from our past, such as where we're from, our traits, our values, can add to our self-worth can motivate us to continue on through the hardships. Knowing the things that we hold true can motivate us to be the best that we can be and to be our true, authentic selves. And that's something I'm proud of. Finally, to my dad, I'm just as proud of you as you are of me. To myself, I'm proud of you. And to everybody in this room, I want you to be as proud of yourselves as I am proud of you. Thank you.